Welcome back to Kiwoon. My name is Caleb, and today we'll be talking about why the overall market has been falling and what my future thoughts are on a large economic scale. Since the new year has started, the Dow is down 6%, S&P 8%, and Nasdaq over 13% in just the past month alone. As you may all know, inflation is red hot, hitting 40-year highs and supply chain disruptions continue. Until now, the market looked past such issues during the pandemic, which has brought huge gains in value of all kinds of assets. And in this video, we'll be looking at the stock market and taking into account everything that's been going on in the past few years and use historical trends to predict what may happen in the market. Now let's get right into it. As Jeff Summer states in this New York Times article, he essentially says that stocks have been falling amid concerns about rising inflation and the Federal Reserve's plan to raise interest rates from historic lows and try and adjust inflation. And if you guys didn't know, inflation is just the rate at which a value of currency is falling and consequently, or because of, the general level of the prices of goods and services is rising. It's kind of like how a cup of coffee in the 70s was like 25 cents, but now it's $2 a cup. Although the product itself has not really changed that much, the currency has lost value over time. Inflation has been affecting us right now through the means of low rates that helps to support the market as in the economy absorb a super sharp impact and pullback from the pandemic in early 2020. But somehow we've recovered rather quickly in just the past two years. Supply chain problems have been huge in terms of problems and higher material costs have prompted companies in a wide range of industries to raise prices on finished goods. Many of these companies have been increasing profit margins and decreasing how much it's going to actually cost for the operations and they may continue feeling declining futures projections in 2022. And yet, we sit here wondering, what has happened? There is an element that is in the market that has given investors a reason to worry about the recent decline that actually may be super consequential. The element is the Federal Reserve. Financial markets now expect the Fed to raise key interest rates at least three times this year just to start thinking about shrinking the balance sheet as soon as this spring. The stock market overall has had some of lost a lot of its buoyancy or its like flotation for reasons other than monetary policy. Stay home stocks that flourished during the beginning of the pandemic, like Netflix, Peloton, and Zoom, have begun to decline as people venture out more. This past Friday, Netflix had their earnings. They posted roughly a 20% decline in future projections, but the actual earnings this season weren't that bad. The biggest problem with companies like Netflix, Peloton, and Zoom was that although their actual earnings this season weren't too bad and are projected to be not too bad, their futures projections are on huge decline. Netflix ended up plunging over 21% in just this past Friday, just because of its disappointing subscriber growth. And a company just like this, like Disney, they essentially try to do the exact same thing, but they fell 7% and they didn't even have earnings on Friday. The next federal meeting is set to be the 26th and 27th, and I suspect that because it's a midterm election year, that the Fed will typically have pressure on current administration to have fast tightening on the monetary policy to fight inflation and to ignore effects it has on the market. But again, this is just my opinion, and as you can see here, the S&P 500 rose nearly 27% last year, more than 16% in 2020, and nearly 29% in 2019. And so, as again, it says here, the prospects of corporate earnings remain good. But once the Fed starts to act and the effects are better understood, the stock market party could continue, but it could be going in a lot more sideways of a pace. And this article by NPR here, it kind of just talks about how inflation has been kind of really one of the things with CPI or consumer prices, um, essentially been increasing at a super high rate. And it's almost at 40 year highs right now. The last time it really hit this was in the 70s and 80s. And this was due to just overall high inflation. Uh, but again, at the end of this article, it kind of just talks about how they state that the markets will most likely continue to be super volatile and we really don't know what's going to happen in the, with the future. But overall, how the year shapes up to the market will be most likely determined by how successful the Fed is at bringing down the inflation. Within the stock market, there are going to be super cyclical co companies and industries like 
soap and food and tobacco and i feel like these will be actually super staples but the cyclical stocks as i was saying that have been super underperforming may actually do really well during this time the article states that avoiding technology companies or at least those that rely on low interest rates to make their promised futures earnings look more valuable today might be the key now i'm not saying that technology will completely sell off but we need to remind ourselves that we're coming off one of the best bull markets in the US history, and in the past five years, Nasdaq is up over 143%. In my opinion, right now is definitely a more risky time to be investing in the market. However, I still believe that there are some stocks that may be undervalued. And when you compare tech stocks to the overall history, there's a lot of stocks that are fundamentally overvalued at this standpoint in this time. But yeah, guys, that's basically all I have on this video. And again, these are just some of the thoughts and research I put together to try and get an understanding of what's happening with our economy right now. Whether you guys agree with me or not, be sure to leave a comment down below. And I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say about during this time of economic volatility. Make sure to like and subscribe. But other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and peace.